And here's the uh, set number five of how to work with exponents in algebra. Here's three good examples for us. And here we have to use a combination of multiplying uh, terms together. They're also raised to an exponent and they themselves are raised to another exponent, like in the case over here. So what do we do with that? All right, let's go ahead and uh, take it away. First example. Well, let's first apply this exponent to what's inside the parentheses. So this becomes 2x to the fifth power times 3 squared and x to the 2 times 2 power. Remember, when you have an exponent raised to an exponent, you multiply exponents. So this therefore is equal to 2x to the fifth multiplied times 9x to the fourth. And now we can go ahead and multiply the rest. So here we simply have 2 times 9, that's 18. And since the bases are the same here, we multiply we add exponents, so we get x to the 5 plus 4, which becomes 18x to the 9 power. Of course, this step isn't really necessary. You can straight go from there to there, simply realize, oh, this is x to the 5 plus 4 power, but I just did that to illustrate how you do that. Okay, on our next example, here, none of the numbers are raised to an exponent, so this becomes simply 4 times 3 times 1, because the, the number in front there is like a 1 times y to the, and now we simply add exponents, so this is 2 plus 3 plus 4, and so this becomes 12y to the 5 plus 4 is 9 power. Okay, looking at our last example, notice here that each quantity inside a parenthesis is raised to a power, so let's go ahead and apply the exponent up here to what's inside the parentheses. And again, remember, when we raise the exponent to exponent, we multiply exponents. So this is equal to x to the 1 times 4, y to the 2 times 4, multiply times x to the 3 times 2, y to the 1 times 2. And finally, look at this last one. This is raised to the 0 power. And remember, anything raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. So that's simply times 1. And then go ahead and simplifying this, we have x to the fourth, y to the eight, multiplied times x to the sixth, y to the second. Now, these parentheses, even though they're, they're nice to have and they kind of break things out so you can see where everything is coming from, you really don't need them. You, we could have just left out the parentheses as soon as we applied the exponents in here, but just for clarity, we kept them. So now we're going to go ahead and multiply these together. When the bases are the same, we simply add exponents. So this becomes x to the 4 plus 6 and y to the 8 plus 2. And so this is equal to x to the 10th, y to the 10th. And that's the answer there. So that's how you deal with exponents that look like this.